Hello YouTube, today I'm going to be doing a comparison between the TrackPhone LG 840G and the TrackPhone LG 800G. Um, but first, I'm going to show you guys um, how my uh, TrackPhone 231C did um, after I left it underwater uh, for quite some time. So here it is. Um, after I did my video, I put this phone back underwater for another six minutes. Um, and when I pulled it out, it was not working. And so I spent probably uh, 15 minutes drying it off. And it turned on. Here we go, everything works just fine. No problems at all. Um, on this front screen and the camera lens, there was a lot of moisture in there for the first probably day, but then in the morning, um, it was gone. And you know, camera still works fine. Everything's just fine. Uh, so, this phone is proof that a trap phone can survive seven and a half minutes underwater. Uh, yeah, so I just wanted to tell you guys that. Uh, so now let's move on to the comparison. Uh, so here on the left we have um, my LG 800G and on the right we have my LG 800G. So let's start start off with going over the uh, similarities and differences of the hardware. So on the 840G we have a 3.2 inch capacitive touchscreen uh, with a resolution of uh, 320 by 240, which is QVGA, um, with 125 ppi. Um, on the LG 800G, we have a 2.8 inch uh, resistive touchscreen with a resolution of 320 by 240. Um, and I'm not sure the uh, pixels per inch on this phone. It's probably a little bit greater than on this phone. Um, they both have the LG logos, because they're both made by LG. Um, you have your earpiece right here on the 840G, and on the 800G you have it kind of lined with this little piece of metal type thing here. Shiny, whatever you want to call it. Um, the LG 800G is more of a rounded phone versus the 840G, which is... Um, has a square design similar to that of the LG L, L series. Um, the L, LG 800G has uh, three tactile buttons at the bottom, while the 800, excuse me, 840G has three capacitive buttons at the bottom. On the side of the 840G, we have our volume rocker. Nice tactile feedback. Sorry. Um, along with this nice bezel. On the left side of the 800G, we have our charging port here. Micro USB charging port with this little cover on it. And that's it. No bezel at all, really. Um, on the right of the 840G, we have nothing at all, just that bezel. And on the right of the 800G, we have our small volume rockers, which do not have very good tactile feedback, and they're not very raised from the body of the phone, um, so they don't give, I mean, they're hard to even tell that, you know, you're touching them. Um, on the back of both phones, we have a 2 megapixel camera. Um, the LG 840G is capable of recording video at QVGA resolution uh, while the 800G's camera is only capable of recording a QCIF which is 177 by 144 resolution video um, but they're both 2, mega, two megapixel still shots um, both have the LG logo on them right here and right here both have the track phone logo um, the one difference is that this is uh, more of a textured back um, while this is more of a smooth plastic back here and this feels sturdier than this um, on the top of the 840G we have our power and lock button which 
um, is decent in tactile response, as well as our uh, 3.5 inch mm, 3.5 millimeter uh, headphone jack. Uh, same exact layout, except for oh wait, exactly same layout, right? Yeah, exact same layout of the buttons there. I don't know if you can really see that there. Same on both phones. Um. Yeah, uh, the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and the lock button, which is actually worse than the 840G's as far as how raised it is from the body of the phone. Um, oh, and I forgot to mention that the uh, micro USB charging port is on the bottom of the 800G, 840G, excuse me, uh, versus on the side here, which I personally like better because it's easier to hold the phone and still do things on it while it's charging with this phone and with this phone you have to kind of you know go like that and just like it's it's just harder um so that is basically the hardware similarities and differences um now let's go over some software differences so both of these phones run a, a java based proprietary operating system no android or anything um, so I'm going to start off with comparing the lock screens. On the 840G, you have, um, you know, your time here. Time and date, and this is screen lock, and then you slide this up to unlock the phone. Um, pretty, ni pretty nifty there, you know. It's really easy to unlock it if you want to get into it really fast. On the uh, 800G, you still have the time and the date, just it's presented smaller. Um, and in order to unlock this, you have to press and hold this little key here. And that's a little bit more difficult to unlock. Um, but they're still um, equally good ways of unlocking phones. I mean, Okay, so let's start out with the software of the LG 840G here. So you've got, you know, uh, your home screen here, your widget screen. Um, you can add widgets of any sort that comes on the phone here. Um, you've got your shortcut pages which is uh, you can choose from anything on your phone and then you've got your contacts page uh, which you can register favorite contacts. So this phone has three home screens along with the four uh, standard uh, buttons down here the call, uh, contacts, messaging, and all applications. On the LG 800G you have two home screens this is kind of, this is sort of like the widgets, or excuse me, the shortcut page on the LG 840G. Um, um, and if you swipe, you've got your uh, favorite contacts there, which is the same thing as the contacts page on that, but you don't have a widget page, because this phone is not uh, capable of that. And you have the same four icons here. I think they're just uh, better looking on this phone than they are on this phone, in uh, my personal opinion there. <clears throat> and you still have the same kind of arrow type thing to add things to home screens. That's typical of Java. Um, as far as um, at the top, you still have your, you have your time, your battery meter, uh, whether you're on regular, silent, and your service. On the uh, A40G, you have basically the same things, clock, battery, meter, uh, whether you're on silent or not, um, and uh, service, but you also have a Wi-Fi indicator right here when Wi-Fi is turned on, which it currently is. Um, this phone is not capable of Wi-Fi, the LG 800G and the A40G is, obviously. Um, so here's the, let's go into the dial pads of both phones. So here, here they are, next to each other. The LG 40G's is uh, sort of white themed, and this is more black themed. Uh, very similar. You've got contacts and logs. Same thing here. Um, I'm not going to show you contacts, um, but they are or they are organized a bit different. Um, the LG 840G organizes them alphabetically, and it puts like them under categories by alphabet. And this um, organizes them alphabetically, but it does not 
have like little categories like this one does. Um, messages I'll show you guys. Um, on the 840G, when you first click on the messaging application, you see all of your inbox, all the messages that uh, have been sent to you. And then you have a little uh, menu up at the top where you can select um, whether you want to look at your outbox, inbox, or drafts. And on the uh, 800G, you've got options for create new message, inbox, drafts, outbox, and send items, all that kind of stuff. Um, and you click it, and then you've got all those. Um, I'll show you the uh, keyboards for both phones, so hold on. Okay. So you're both brought to, on both phones you're brought to this menu, which are pretty similar on both. You tap here on both phones in the middle of that little box there. And you've got your two keyboards.